Okay, so to be able to program an IP phone that's working on an OffServe, OfficeServe Samsung product outside of the local area network, you need to set up one of the most important things is your router. And your router is your link between the outside WAN address, in other words, a public IP address, which should be a static IP address. Static is very important. And the internal or subnet that you're going to have in your office like a 192.168 number. <clears throat> and here's the two ones you have to be concerned with. Uh, the um, IFTP phone side, all 9000 to 9001. And that should be pointed to the office serve IP address, in this case 192.168.120.250. Uh, and then the uh, ITP uh, system side, which is 6000, all, right there for protocol. And that's 192.168.120.250. That's those are the two minimum ones you should program your router for. Uh, if you have uh, MGIs, they should be set up there as well. 30,000 to 30,011. Again, pointed to your uh, MP10A. In this case, you notice we have the second line here is at 192.168.120.241. That's because we have a 7200 that has an OAS card in it that has a secondary IP address. IT tools, this is important if you want to be able to log in remotely. That's 5000 and that's a TCP address pointed to the MP10A. And voicemail access, TCP 443, again 192.168.120.250. Now 443 is an HTTPS access, so if you were going to access your voicemail from the outside world, you would put in HTTPS uh, colon forward slash forward slash and then the public IP address number. And then that would allow you to, um, after you click on OK to get into uh, not recommended, uh, Windows Explorer says not recommended, but continue and you continue and then you can go into voicemail uh, and control it. Now that's your router. If you have any questions, let me know. But that's pretty basic. Now let's get into IT tools. Open up IT tools. And I'm going to show you where to go here. The first place you want to go is 2.12. Over here on this, this side here, 2.12 is right there. And this is important because you want to set up your uh, public with private settings. And you want to put in a public IP address. In this case, it's a static IP address that we have in here, 741142912. And that is the WAN side of the router that the... Office serve system is going to be plugged into on the LAN side. Uh, and then the next one you want to go to, I've got them all in history here, is the uh, LAN parameter system selection. We did that. We're going to go into uh, LAN parameter uh, right here. Let's see, oh, I did that one. System selection. There we go. This is the internal address. So here you're going to put in under 2.1.0 uh, the IP address. In this case, 192.168.120.250. The gateway, in this case, it's 192.168.120.2 because we have two routers. So this one, we're asking it to go through the dot .2 router that we have. Uh, subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. And then the final parameter that you pretty much need is 2.7.1. And you'll see here, these are all your ITP settings. Your SMT5210 is probably going to take out one of the first uh, IP addresses. So when you register, which we'll show you in a second, uh, there's your ID number, there's your password 1234, there's your DSP type, time zone shift if you need anything. All this stuff you really don't have to set up too much. Now let's take you over to a, uh, make sure you save that. Now let's take you over to a phone. And here's a phone, sorry about the glare. But here is a telephone that uh, is an SMT5210. And I'm going to go into menu. This one's already set up here. And I'm going to go 66, menu 66. I don't know if you can see this or not. But it's going to come up to this, um, this display. And then I'm going to press star 1, 5, 3, pound. Star 1, 5, 3, pound. This is going to take me up to easy install. See the first one here? You can scroll up with your wheel. See this wheel? I'm pressing the up and down buttons. 
This will take you up here and then at this point you can just scroll through on this one on easy install. Now when you set this up for the first time and you plug this phone in, remember this phone has to use either a power supply to get power or it has to be connected through a PoE injection device. Press easy install. Select static or dynamic IP in this case is what I would suggest because it's probably from on an inside LAN, I'm assuming it is. OSPP, you can keep that the same. You're probably not using a VLAN, so press OK. And when I press OK, I'm pressing the center button here. Uh, and uh, VLAN's on in use. You can continue through these ones. Here you want to put in your, your system IP address. And in this case, if, if the IP phone is on another network somewhere else in the world, then you want to put in the public IP address to find the office serve uh, processor, which this address will go into the router and be port forwarded as we talked about. Let's go to next, and here you can see system ID number. You can make it 3201, that's the very first one. The password is 1234, and then the next time you press and enter, the phone will restart. The green light comes on at the top, and the phone restarts. And uh, it'll come up, and uh, it, it shouldn't take long. I'll, I'll stay on line while it does this. Now remember, this phone is on a different subnet. It's going out, in, in, out into the IP world, and finding the public IP address, knocking on the door of the router. The router's saying, yeah, come on in, I'll, fo I'll port forward you, because we've already programmed that. And then once it port forwards, it's going to connect to the server. It shouldn't take too long. It should take about... Uh, Oh, 10, 15 seconds. And if you can see here, this is now registered as 3202. Sorry about the glare. 3202. And uh, there's a glitch on the 5210s that it'll say connecting to server when it's really already connected. And all I do is just lift up the handset and put it back on again. And it will show you that it's registered. And that's it. You should have dial tone. Should be able to call. So we're good to go. That's it. That's all you need.